Hey what's going on guys, it's me Potty and today I'm going to show you how to do custom brushes and custom patterns. So yeah, it's pretty useful if you want to use it on backgrounds and also uh, desktop backgrounds. Um, I already made some uh, examples like uh, the patterns, the horizontal light patterns and uh, some brushes. So yeah, let's get started, go to file, open a new one uh, with size 1 and 2 like so and just zoom it and click on the background just make a transparent background because we cannot work with a white one like so then just go to pencil uh, which is here at the brushes uh, go to pencil uh, select white and just click here go to edit go to define pattern and just name it whatever you want so yeah go back to the to the original image and just fill it with whatever color you want just go to fill opacity and all the way down and double click on the layer go to pattern overlay and choose the last one that's what we made last and the opacity should be down a little bit like like 20, 21 and like this so yeah we got the horizontal white lines something like that but you can play around with these settings so yeah let's create some custom brushes um, go to file and uh, open a new one and just like 200 and 200 alright make the background transparent like this go to brush uh, select the color black because you cannot uh, make custom brushes uh, with uh, other colors so yeah make a circle like this but you can uh, make any shape you want so yeah fill it and go to edit define brush preset, name it whatever you want and just go back to my orange general image just make a new layer go to brush uh, then if you don't have uh, this icon here uh, you can go to window and click on this brush so yeah you will have this uh, click on the last one because uh, that's what we made I already made some but um, go to shape dynamics and all the way up the size of gear then go to scattering did I say the last no. uh, go to 1000 percent so yeah maybe make the size a little bit smaller and just click here and drag it up so you see we got uh, different size uh, circles and you can put the opacity down a bit so yeah we got this pretty nice effect um, you can also make uh, multiply colored circles by clicking here color dynamics and the foreground background jitter 100 percent and um, you will see that Ah, oh, sorry. Sorry. Uh, if you click here and drag it up, you will get uh, uh, colorful circles. And go to overlay and opacity down a bit. So yeah, it's pretty nice. So you don't have to uh, do it like. Uh, like this, uh, then copy and paste it, just free transform and make it smaller. And hey, yeah, I made it. No, no, it's it's dumb thing. You just have to do these settings with the brush, um, and you also don't have to uh, uh, make a, a line like this and color it you know that's and 
duplicate and hell yeah I have the lines and and I spent two hours to make all these lines so yeah that's that's the dumbest thing oh never mind uh, so yeah that's pretty much it guys uh, I hope you found it uh, pretty useful and another thing my GFX team is hosting a speed up contest uh, and we have cash prizes uh, so the first place uh, going to win uh, 30 bucks which is pretty good and also sub bucks and spotting cat designs and stuff like that so yeah check it out it will be in the description so yeah that's pretty much it guys uh, see you later